Hello and welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is the second video in a series I'm doing about my experiences with Harley Benton short scale basses. Today, I will be featuring the PB Shorty. Let's check it out. This has a poplar body, a maple neck, and an amaranth fingerboard. The electronics are single precision style pickup, volume tone, it has an open geared Fender style tuners. Now the nut width on the PB Shorty uh, measures 1.625 inches. So that's kind of in between uh, a jazz bass, which is 1.5, and a precision bass, which is historically 1.75 inches. Measured at the 12th fret, this PB Shorty measures at 2.25 inches across. This particular example uh, is pretty lightweight and it comes in at 7.9 pounds. In terms of balance, it's pretty neck divey. Let's check out some of the sounds we can get from this PB Shorty. Let's start with the master volume all the way up and the tone knob all the way down at 0%. Now let's roll the tone on up to about 25%. Roll it up to about 50. Let's roll the tone up up to about 75%. Roll the tone up all the way up, wide open. Now for my taste and my tonal preferences, I find on this bass, with a tone knob higher than 50%, it kind of results in a overly bright, very harsh clank that uh, is, is not pleasing to my ears. But let's put it up to a drum track and we can hear it in the context of, uh, of a groove and let's come back and talk about it. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. 
But let's talk about some of the things I like about this base. First of all, the price point. I think at uh, at time of filming, these are selling for 119 Canadian dollars or 83 euro. And for that price, I'm mystified that you can buy a base at all, uh, let alone a base that actually plays in tune and sounds all right. Now I'm gonna put up a picture here of, of the net pocket. This net pocket is tight uh, and it looks very well uh, fitted. More typically on instruments in the lower price points, you either find that the, the necks are too wide and too big for the neck pocket and you end up finding kind of hairline cracks right here in, in these weak points area and in here as well uh, that clearly looks like that the wood pieces would fit together before they were finished but once you apply a finish they're ever slightly uh, too big for each other and someone just kind of rammed it in at the factory the opposite is also true where you find that the neck pockets are uh, too big for the neck and then you, you can put business cards and credit cards uh, uh, into the net pocket as well. But that's not the case with this Harley Benton PB Shorty. And as you can see in those photos, that neck pocket is tight. Now let's talk about things I don't like about it. This nut here, I think from a setup point of view, it was cut a little too high. So the action in the first uh, three, four frets is higher than what I would like it to be but that is pretty easy to fix from a local tech or a luthier what is harder to fix however and i put up a picture here is i find the nut is sitting too shallow on the fingerboard i'd like to see this style of nut to sit a little deeper in the fingerboard to keep it from wiggling uh, side to side especially when uh, you're stringing the instrument up or tuning it the the nut is a very, very important piece of the instrument when it comes to setup and tone, and it's very often overlooked. Uh, and I think on this particular example, this nut is sitting too shallow on the fingerboard. Now the biggest weakness of this bass is the electronic package. The output is a bit on the low side. So if you were to compare this bass, so right now I just have the volume all the way up, tone all the way down. Now I'm not gonna touch anything else. I'm just gonna hot unplug it. And let's plug in this Harley Benton MV4. I haven't touched anything else. So just purely from an output uh, perspective, the pickup on this PB Shorty is very low. The other issue is the taper of these pots. Uh, you can feel the, the quality of the taper with how, uh, how gradual the volume and the tone uh, changes. And here is, you can find pockets where it, it changes a little more abruptly than, than you want it to. You may be wondering, should I buy the Harley Benton PB4 or the Squire by Fender Mini P base? The Mini P comes in around $275 Canadian at time of filming, so it is a bit more money and it has a shorter neck. But while I have this one here, let's put them head to head and see which one you like better. Here we go.
so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos in this series about my experiences with Harley Benton short scale basses. Until next time.